shooting film for me was uh like taxing on myself because like for one it like really removes me from the tour and from the skating like i i can't really be a part of like what's happening i have to be the kind of like external like documenting it mm-hmm. and especially with film because it's like no one else can do it i mean yeah it's well not a- no one else but it's just like less accessible to like other filmers like yeah it's like, versus, like the I, I was i was yeah. the one shooting like maybe i handed the camera off like mm-hmm. three or four times yeah. you know but it's like it's not even just the shooting it's like the audio like to get yeah it's it's like it turns into a production at that point where it's not like yeah, okay like, like yo dude shoot this it's like okay no like yeah you gotta okay you here. stand over here and i stand here and all right do we have a film in the camera okay like okay you have the mark the audio and then it's, it's this whole thing so you, you can't be like this uh, on the go, on the fly, tour mode, which it's not you this w- carefree like tour yeah, thing that everyone's yeah, it's like used on to. On tour, yeah. you want to be just like bam, 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 yeah, like yeah. we do, it, we do, it, we do it, because that's how a tour moves. But when we were in Peru, it was like really like take a step back, slow motion, like all right, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, like now we can go and move so you don't want to like kind of not really waste the time, but like not spend the time doing that on this trip. It's not that we wasted the time. I think it's just that. Well, it's not waste because you came away with a, something, but I would rather shoot it differently, more documentary style of like, I can have a camera and it can be in your face in two seconds mm-hmm. and like yeah yeah, instead of setting everything up yeah because I, I think this way you get more of a, of a tour feel to everything you get more of like a, I think it brings the viewer closer into what's happening, on tour, if if you have that capability, mm-hmm. but. It, with the film it was more of like a you're kind of detached from that and you're kind of like you're kind of like painting this picture because you're like okay now everything has to be like um like pre-thought out premeditative and now now it has to be like implied and shot right? mm-hmm. but if you have something digital where you can be like bam like all right we're shooting we're, mm-hmm. like, we're recording In two seconds it's a completely different feel so I think for this one, we're going to experiment with that aspect of it and see how it goes mm-hmm. and also save a little bit of money. Yeah, <laughs> save a little money and stress. Not to be too geeky, but like you said, you had to mark the audio with the video. Yeah. How do you mark the audio? Because the audio is digital now that you were recording. The audio is digital. Yeah. So pretty much what I would do is. Um, like what type of recorder were you using for the audio? It would be like, a, yeah, just like a handheld audio recorder okay and then with like a shotgun mic connected to it and so like it would have like a counter Mm -hmm. on the recorder yeah and um so pretty much like i would i would insert a cartridge into the super 8 say that's the first cartridge right Mm -hmm. um every shot i take they're doing an audio right yeah so at the end of the roll uh, i would mark like zero to 205 Mm mm-hmm and then I know that the files from zero to two hundred and five on the audio recorder are the ones that fit this role. Damn. <laughs> and then when I came you wrote back, it on the film, on like the yeah, cartridge. Yeah, on the cartridge. Okay, so you didn't have like a log, like of <laughs> no, no, no. So like, dude, I I came back to New York, and it took me honestly like a week and a half just to sync the audio. <laughs> and it was like, dude, like working like nine, ten hours a day. Damn, of, that's like, mad audio, work. Audio, that's audio, crazy. Audio. Like it was crazy, man. Like. Because, I mean, we're speak- syncing audio is like, this is like no joke. This mm. is like not something easy, especially when it's from like formats that are completely foreign to each well, other. Well, syncing audio when you have, like you can't match the audio in the track to the audio on the film because there is no audio on the film, you exactly. know, because like, you're straight. It's like blind syncing pretty yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. So, so I would have to pick a moment in the clip where it's like, okay, like he hits the rail and then I would have to find that moment and then stretch out the audio yeah. and then clip Work it and then save it. Damn. And then like every clip, like clip by clip by clip by clip like and how many rolls did you go through i think 15 15 rolls right damn was that the longest part of making inti uh yeah i was about to say if it wasn't that's why it's fucked up because <laughs> there's some yeah. other crazy shit going on do, do you have a trailer made for indie inti like a new one you were supposed to give us one like a while ago a trailer for inti yeah like a, a newer one like remember you said you were gonna make a new one for like that oh like a more skating one yeah yeah i haven't Okay, and we'll play it in the edit. We're cutting to the right now.
Wow. That was a good clip. <laughs> that was an incredible clip, man. Mind blown. Oh my god. Mind blown. I can't wait to see they can't wait to see the video, the full length. Yeah. Where can you get this if well, you if I haven't seen it and you want to see it like right now and, and you don't know anything? It's on I don't know where it is. It's on the internet. It's somewhere. not good, man. You got it, you should know. It's if you type in some, you don't know where it is. Your own video. If you type video? in something on the internet, it probably shows. <laughs> it's not good, dude. You gotta help a little bit. Uh, where is it on the internet? Uh, <laughs> is this happening right now? <laughs> uh, I'm I'm really not sure because because we have. Don't like, you have a website? No, I had multiple different pages, and I deleted my website a few years ago, and then I deleted the self. No, the selfie still exists, but this isn't part of the selfie. Maybe if you Google Inti. Uh, yeah, if you, uh, it's on YouTube. Oh, it's on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's on our Haitian magazine. But the whole video is out now on YouTube. Yeah, the whole video is oh, out. Oh, okay. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you put it out for free? Yeah. Okay. We'll link it down then. Yeah. We'll link it. We'll link it in the description so people can check that out. Yeah, but the trailer's cool too. Yeah. So. <laughs> cool. And with the original music, we had Anthony Marchione on before because he made the soundtrack for it. Also, he made the soundtrack. Yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, that's. Hot. <laughs> it was. Uh... And what do you have to say about that? Oh, that's really hot. Put it right there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was also a learning experience. The uh, doing the music for that, like I had, I went down, took the bus down to Philly, because that's a main reason why I came to New York after shooting the film. I was like, I want to, one, I want to work, and two, I want to like be in a city where all these things are possible. Making the book, making the film, making the music. It's like there's not many cities. All resources are here. That it's like that possible, and I was like, I know I want Anthony to make the music. So I can like easily just take a bus or whatever, like go down there and see him. <clears throat> so I went down there and I kind of had like more of an idea of like we would be playing music together. And I'd be like, oh, okay, like play off of this, play off of this. But um, he's kind of like more of a, um, he's like more of a work by yourself type of guy. Mm-hmm. So he was kind of like, okay, okay, like, what do you want it to be like? And he would just, like, geek out for a minute and just, like, start doing crazy stuff on, like, the instruments. I'm like, okay, like, <laughs> just like you, you do you, it? Yeah, you like, you got it. Like, oh, yeah. I don't have to do shit. Like, right. you figured it out. And he came up with, I mean, the, the soundtrack's incredible. Yeah, it is. It's really cool. And it was cool hearing, like, his side of it, too. You put a lot of work into the video because you shot on film. You had to sing all this audio and post all the, the editing and stuff. You had to go down to take trips to Philly to get the original soundtrack made for the film. Like, yeah. it's a lot of fucking work. It was a lot it's probably of the work. most work done in any skate video ever made in it was, history. It was all, like, within, like, a month and a half before Winter Clash, too. Yeah, you were you were stressed out for that, too, right? Because oh you were God. editing it even the night of the premiere, right? Well, what happened is that I got back from Peru, and I was sending the film up to Sylvan in Toronto, mm-hmm. who does, like, most of Roller Is that Avon's guy? Yeah. He, okay. like, he does all the film for, like... Everybody. For Roller The industry. You know, and, yeah. <laughs> And um, so he's the guy for sure. And they were closing like the next day for Christmas break. And it was like 10 days or something. Mm -hmm. So I was like, fuck, man. Like if I overnight it to you, like, do you think you can get it in? He's like, well, I'm not even there. Like it's just (laughs) it's just like my my homies that are there at the shop. Like maybe they'll get in. I was Mm -hmm. like, fuck. Like so I had to wait until after the Christmas break. And it ended up being extended as well. And then I finally sent it in. And they got it, and it took, like, two weeks to process, and then I had, like, two weeks out of the movie. Yeah. And I'm like, th- this, the the music's already done, and the movie is pretty much, like, audio synced and, not, like, not even touched. Wait, you had the music made before you started editing the actual, like, oh, I'm yeah, looking be- at because, the footage Because I, I was just, like, waiting around. I was like, I, like I, I don't know what to do. Like, I have to do something. Like, I might as well go down to Philly and, like, do the music. Yeah, yeah. And it was just, like, we were looking at, like, the digital footage, I think. And it was just, like, just this whole, like, mix and mess of, like, everything running down to the wire. Like, to such a extreme point to where I was, like, pulling my hair out, like, mm-hmm. every day. Like, is it going to happen? Is it going to yeah, happen? Yeah. And then I got to Amsterdam. Well, the night before, I tried exporting the movie, and it, it was, like, a seven-hour export. <laughs> oh, I, wo- I woke up in the morning and oh. it um failed the export oh. and i was like you gotta be kidding me like, this is just like nightmare stuff so i was like all right throw the bag in the backpack or throw the computer in the backpack and fucking head to the head to the train to catch the plane and i got to amsterdam and like checked into my hotel immediately started exporting and my computer didn't recognize the hard drive 
which, oh is, my which is the fiasco that was happening. That's what happened. <clears throat> and I was like, dude, like, are you kidding of me? Like, like, my computer, I would open it up, like, blue screen. Like, <sighs> didn't even, like, like nothing. And uh-huh. I was like, oh, my God, dude. So sent out, like, a mass text or, like, Instagram thing and, like, had an IT guy, like, some rollerblader came mm-hmm. over in, like, five minutes and, like, fix it up and, like, boom, 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 everything happened. Wait, someone, then, so you posted on Instagram and somebody who was in Amsterdam came over to you? Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> Kevin had seen it. Kevin from Amsterdam. Okay, I, I don't really and know. And Kevin had, like, sent out another message. So it just, like, exploded yeah, from yeah. there, you know? Yeah. Like, fractaled like, from that point. we need this done for Winter Clash. Yeah, and, like, yeah, five minutes, like, someone was like, yo, I heard you need help. And he, like, came over and fixed it. And everything happened, like, one hour before the premiere. Oh. <laughs> it was, like, pff, absolutely They had another insane, miracle man. from the Blading community. It's insane. Another another blade miracle happened. Dude. The blade the blade gods were on you. Yeah, that like, I always feel like you know th- these things like when a big event like that, th- this like energy that builds up into this moment, like it's so, it, it's always so extreme. Like yeah. like why does it always have to be so extreme? Yeah, yeah, can't, it can't be easy. Can't it can never be, be chill. Easy. No. Like, can't it be- no.